Hello and welcome! My name is DW and this is my little slice of the internet I like to call Dub's Beauty Diary. I am batch filming while my little one takes a nap. So if you've seen this look, this outfit, my brows wrap, um, it's fine. It's fine. I don't have a lot of time, but I've been waiting to film these and I finally have a moment. So let's get into my low buy, no buy, budget, beauty, bullshit. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just... I'm just kidding but we are going to wrap this up today um october november in one update um i will start a new series in january i'm excited for the new series it's going to be a little different than this one but yes so october let's start with october spending on food i spent 180 dollars i don't want to talk about it um baby i spent four dollars i think i bought an outfit or two from the thrift store don't remember uh gifts i uh, yeah they were from the thrift store because i bought um uh ryan a gift it was a star wars um collectible set from mcdonald's i got that at the thrift store and that was five dollars um beauty i spent eight dollars eight dollars yeah i used my points <laughs> i used my points and i bought a fingernail polish okay so i bought this from the from the walmarts <laughs> um this is trash i didn't know where my top coats were and i wanted to use my um pat mcgrath shades as uh fingernail polish so i pick this up it was fairly cheap it's LA colors it says it lasts up to 10 days it lasted maybe 10 minutes I think I might just throw this away because I've since found my fingernail polish but I'm not sure yet I'm not I'm not sure yet um so I bought that I bought the new flower beauty palettes that I have not used yet um both of them and I bought the culture 2 from Juvia's the reason I wanted this palette was, look at this, look at these top four. I don't even think I've ever looked at the rest of the palette, to be honest, but I had points. This was half off. I, I picked it up. I picked it up. I used my points for the, for everything except for the fingernail polish because that wasn't at all put. So that is what I've got for makeup. Um, clothes, I spent $37. I bought a tank top, which was a dollar at Walmart, and then I bought a pair of black shoes, which um, were at Kohl's. I used a gift card for half of them and paid the rest, so that was $35, $37 total. Um, total spending in October was $234. I was gifted this red blush. I really like this. I'll, let's put a little bit on. It's um exactly what I was looking for. Like I I'm red. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for. So thank you Andy. Andy gifted me this. Um I have since found all of my makeup and I'm going to be going through it today, so you will get something in return and we have an exciting project starting next year. <coughs> Woo. Excuse me. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, we just talked about it last night. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, anyway, so I was gifted that. Um, I saved $5 on Rakuten, $11.47 on Upside, which is that app where you buy fuel and get some credit back and then you can put it into your bank account. And $22.10 um, for my Simply Save account, which rounds every purchase I make on my debit card to the next dollar and puts it in the savings account. So total savings this in October was $38.57. Not bad. Um, empties. Total empties this month, or not this month, I'm sorry, I'm way behind. Total empties in October was $76.24. I emptied the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in Tan Lines, um, $7 for this. I emptied this Rail Sheet Mask, um, 320 estimate. Um, yeah, I got that in a beauty box, Allure, I think. 
um emptied a uh, essence mascara 499 the Kristen s hair mask um this actually made my hair worse than normal whatever um 201 so, so far, the only thing I would repurchase is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer and the Essence Mascara, but I like the green mascara and not the pink one, or the orange one, I don't know, coral? <laughs> I like the um, falsies instead of the volume. So, no, I guess I wouldn't repurchase this one. Um, let's see... This, I got this sample in um, a pregnancy bag of the stretch lotion, um, 54 cents. This did nothing that a normal body cream couldn't do. I don't know why everyone's up that, like they're like, anyway, would not, would not purchase. Um, Stila Primer, $22 for this uh, travel size. It's the one step correct. Um, I like this, but I don't know if I would repurchase it because it was a little spendy. I mean, yeah, twenty two dollars for this for this one and it didn't it doesn't last long because you cover your whole face with it. Um but it was a it was a good primer. I liked it. It did do a little bit of correcting and it did give me a little bit of glow. Skin tone correcting and brightening primer. So I guess it did do what it says it's supposed to. <laughs> um I had two back and body lotions, or what are these called? Body creams. Ultimate hydration body creams. I had the um, pineapple lime eucalyptus, and I had the um, pink lily and bamboo. I liked both of these. Uh, probably wouldn't, I mean, I would repurchase the body creams if they were on sale, but I probably wouldn't repurchase these kinds just because there's so many other scents out there. Um... $17.50 for each of those, and then a sanitizer um, that I got at Walmart, $1.50. And the only reason I bought this sanitizer was because it has little baby OD. Oh, I want to show you a picture of my parents' cat. He has hematoma in his ears, and he looks like Yodi now, so his name is Taz. Um, they don't hurt him or anything, and he's totally fine, so no worries there, but little Yodi. Those are my October um, roundup or whatever. I don't, it's been a while. Can you tell? Um, so I, uh, with the empties and the savings, um, it was a little over a hundred dollars and total spending was 234. So kind of evens out. I mean, not completely, but I'm under that $200 mark that I wanted to be under. Now, November, November was crazy, y'all. Um, <laughs> I, okay, so November, I was done working on, on the 3rd. I started my maternity leave on the 3rd. And little miss over here was born on the 6th. And I really haven't left my house since. <laughs> I mean, we go grocery shopping and stuff, but I don't eat out unless I'm with someone. And in that case, um, either Ryan pays or my mom pays or whatever. Um, yeah. All right. So food. I've spent in November, the whole month of November, I spent $45 on food. You know, that's just like snacks and um, eating out. It's not groceries. That's good. That's really good. And I'm hoping December is going to be the same, but I'm not tracking December and I haven't spent any money yet. No, I don't think so. Um, pets, it was Scout's birthday on the third. So I bought her, um, we went to the pet store and she picked out some treats. She picked out some, a toy. I bought her a shirt Yeah, $25 on the pets. Um, I spent $10 on Little Miss over here. Um, we had a Barnes & Noble gift card and I went 10 over the gift card just to get her some books um, that I thought she absolutely needed. So 
ten dollars ain't bad on the baby um gifts i spent 25 dollars on a gift card for my sister she her birthday was in november so me and my mom went have these on a gift for her and sent it to her in colorado um now beauty i did a little black friday shopping or cyber monday shopping um i used my points but i still spent 31 dollars. but but let me show you what i got <clears throat> i'm gonna save the best for last yeah i'm gonna save the best for last so this is my uh, little Ulta haul. I got this Essence uh, Redness Primer, Redness Reducer Primer, Balancing Calming with Green Tea Extract. I like a green primer because you can, I mean, besides that blush that I put on, like my chin, my nose, I have redness everywhere. My skin is so sensitive. So I'm, I like to try different brands, primers, or correctors so I got that from essence I got a lot from essence actually um this brow mascara in oh, what blondie brows oh it's goopy cute I like a tinted brow gel, and I haven't had one in a while. I like the um, Benefit one, but I'm down for a discounted, um, cheaper alternative if it works. Probably defeating the purpose running this through it, but it's so thick and goopy. Okay. Don't notice. Okay, I kind of noticed. Kind of gives it some dimension. Hmm. Okay, interesting, interesting. So I got the Essence um, Brow Gel Mascara in, in uh, what did I say, Blondie Brows. So then I have two more Essence items. I got the um, Semi Matte um, Lipsticks. One is in Amazing. Um, the one I'm wearing right now is real. Um, I've had that one for a while. And this one, and I love it. And this one is in Lovable. So, I'm excited to try these out. Um, then I got another lipstick. I've been wanting to try this formula for a long time. It's Urban Decay, um, I don't know, lipstick. And this one is in Hideaway, and it's matte. Nice little mauve. So I'm pretty jazzed to try that. And did I need more lipsticks? Absolutely not. But here we are. Um, I got four of the, um, what are these? J-Cat Metal Chromatic Shock Liners. So these are duochrome or, or multi-chrome. Um, I got the one in... Shifting Chameleon, Cha, Chameleon. So it's like a green purple. Okay. And I'm planning on using these on the lower lash. This one is in Sapphire Wisdom. This is like a blue to purple. on top then I got a uh, glimmer glow this is like a green to yellow or gold sorry I don't know no one says yellow these are pretty stiff um, hopefully as I use them they get softer and this one is called ray of shine and this is like a gold oh I lost the tip of that one I 
This one's super soft. Okay, like a gold, antique gold brown. So those are the new liners that I got. Pretty excited to test those out. Um, then I got three palettes. Yeah, three. It's fine. I got the um, Natasha Denona Mini Pastel. This has been on my wish list since it came out. I got the Natasha Denona Mini Starlet. This has also been on my wish list since it came out. Which it hasn't been as long as the Mini Pastel. And I got, this is the last one, I got the Glam Midi. And this has also been on my wish list since it came out. And I finally got it. Pretty neutral. Um, but these, these palettes are magnetic and you can move the shades around. So I'm excited because I have a lot of midi Natasha Denona palettes so I can make my own color story and have it suit me a little better. So that was my Ulta haul. Total spending in November was $136. So under my $200 mark. Um, savings, I had $471 from Upside. Like I said, I hadn't left the house for very much. And Simply Save was $1221. So a total of $1692. And then um, I only have three empties, but the total is $93.95. So, um, which just blows my mind. Um, empty, um, Jeffree Star Gloss. This one is in Peach, Peach Price Tag. I think this is my last one, which is kind of sad because I love this formula, but at the same time, I'm glad that I don't have them anymore. I don't know. Um, $18. The, um... Bath and Body Works spray in Golden Magnolia Sun. This retails for $17.95. Uh, it took a really long time to use this, but I'm glad it's done. I would not repurchase this. And then the Eve Lom mask um, on their website, this retails for $58. This didn't do anything to my face. Like, I mean, you can tell I just finished using it right before I gave birth or right after I gave birth. And so that is my total empties for November. And that is my finale for my no buy, low buy, blah, 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 blah. So um, next, like I said, next year, we are going to do something a little bit different with my um, in bringing in and empties. I will, um, I'm excited to let you know about that um, when I get that settled in January. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, everything's going good over here. Really happy. Just busy. Not busy, but if she's not sleeping, she's screaming. So, um, which is fine, is she's a baby. We're just getting used to each other. Um, yeah. So with that being said, we will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.